And we are here at the Power Slap stage as promised. Nate Bernard, Stevie Ray Payne, the first ever live slap fight on the official UFC 290 way in show. Let's take a look at the tail of the table. A couple of college football players, Nate Bernard and Stevie Ray Payne. Both these guys, big time athletes, shaped like martini glasses, heavyweights who are ready to roll. roll. Let's send it to our power slap announcer, Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is three rounds in the Power Slap heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, in the blue corner, he stands six feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 249 and one half pounds. Out of Honolulu, Hawaii, Stevie Ray Payne. And now, Introducing in the red corner, he stands six feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. Out of Buffalo, New York, Nate, the Buffalo Soldier, Bernard. Let's go! And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Kerry Hatley. Woo! Winner of the coin toss and striking Let's first. Go! is Nate Bernard. All right, Nate Bernard, the Buffalo Soldier, currently working as a security guard for the Buffalo Bills, won the toss. He will strike first. Now, only 20% of these power slap fights have ended in the first round. Both of these guys, as I mentioned, former college football players. He played at Southwestern Oklahoma Center. State University, uh, DC. My cousin played at Southwestern Oklahoma State University also. It's a Durant, Oklahoma. Very good Division II program. Great athlete. All right, Red has there. won the toss. Hand and count. He's going right to be slapping first. Right hand on three. He must measure. With the right hand. Measure. Here we go. One. All right. Two. Oh! oh, 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 oh Four. Get out, five. Get out. Oh, six. Oh, he's not getting it. Seven. Steve, he's, he's getting up. Come on, man. He's getting up. Nine. He gets wow. He's getting up. Ten. Wow. He's good. He's up. Look at them. He's up. Oh, my face. goodness. Let's see what Kerry good. Hatley's going to yeah. say here. Come towards me a little bit. Okay, go this way for me. Watch the edge. Watch he's okay. not doing good. Come back. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Let's see if they're going to let him go here. That was a massive slap. That was huge. Oh, it's like a goodness. gunshot when you're here in person. These are actual athletes. These are, oh my goodness. What do you see, Kamara? Uh, uh, oh! I mean, they don't let him go? <laughs> well, you can't take another okay. slap. We're done. Fight wow. Yeah, right. wow, round one. one slap. One slap. A 20%, one and the, like you said, 20% of these. Oh. Only round 20. Round here, brother. 20? Only 20%. Only 20%. Wait, wait, wait. That is incredible. One in five. Wait, and that Steve. was one of the five. Wait, 20? Are you sure it's not more like 80? 43. No, it's really not. It's actually much closer than you would that imagine. The coin toss winners only win 53% of the time. TK. Incredible. But when you're talking about on, the big man. guys, the heavyweights and the super heavyweights, the coin slap <laughs> is a little more important. Hey man, that's what I tell you, dude. I, I got to be honest with you. If <laughs> they, didn't, if they yeah. didn't catch him, he was going to walk off the edge of the of, of the platform. He didn't know where he was. He was literally yeah, going no, a for a shot. nose dive. By the way, Stevie Ray Payne, who was the one who, who was uh, almost slept, badass. Let's send it back to Justin Bernard to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kerry Hatley calls a stop to the match in round number one, declaring the winner by TKO Nate, the Buffalo Soldier. 